capitalism, yet the political narratives that give an account of black radicalism don't tend to include um, ordinary black girls in them. And so I was like, oh, so how do I actually illuminate the stakes of that practice? How do we think about uh, thought and knowledge produced in other domains? The only intellectuals are people who have PhDs or BAs or MAs. So that was really what was at um, the heart of the book. And I think so long, you know, for so long, respectability has been the dominant paradigm of like black women's history, right. black women's practice. So even if it's a book about black women sex workers, uh, it'll still say something like, well, they had their own code of respectability. And I was like, well, we would have pulled even sex workers into that paradigm of respectability when there are kind of multiple experiences. So I wanted to focus on black women's disobedience and dissidence and just refusal to abide by the terms of the norm. And um, and the book was a discovery and like, oh, so how do I, you know, how do I give an account of their thoughts and their practice when they're not, you know, these kind of history books that I can make um, uh, easy recourse to. Um, you also asked about the photo of the Aikens girl. In the course of doing research for the book, I discovered um, a new photograph of, uh, of a girl who's probably about like, 10 years old um, that was taken in the studio of an artist, Thomas Aikens. And when I saw that photograph, that girl just arrested me because I thought, how did, she, how did she get into that studio? And, um, and I knew that the answer couldn't be good. Yeah. And there was something about seeing um, that image that just really brought to the fore how constant a certain kind of sexual violation, objectification um, has been and continues to be the norms of black women's life. But this photo, um, you know, it's art, so it has a certain kind of autonomy. But this photo, all of the kind of critical readings of it were all about the seductive gaze of the young girl in the photo. And I thought, wow. like, are they crazy? Right, like, she's 10. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's 10. And it was about the kind of the narrative that was waiting there to capture. Yeah. And so how could I open that photo up and imagine and describe the history that landed her on that sofa and how her life might have unfolded after that encounter. Right. 